What's going on guys? Chu here, bringing you another review. And I hope I get this right. Does do you love your mom and her two multi attack? I think I I think I get that wrong every time, but well, anyway, what is up? So this episode continues on with what we had, the school life, and honestly I'm gonna get I'm getting a little annoyed with it because I don't really necessarily want to see them in school as much anymore. But that's just my personal thing. But we continue on with Medi Mama versus Mamako. Like we have Masato excited to go to school without his mom uh, initially and trying to catch up to Medi. You know, he's going to try to enjoy his school life with her. You know, everything looks hunky dory for him. Until, of course, we have it being interrupted by Medi Mama, who brings a bunch of outfits. She says that she's ready to boast herself and show off her, I guess, her body, which I, I gotta say isn't bad. It's just her personality ne doesn't necessarily uh, make things easy for anyone. And of course, that includes especially um, Masato and Medi. I feel bad for them both, you know? We have Masato trying to get closer to Medi and Medi having a mom like that. And we got a glimpse of her whispering things uh, last episode. And this episode definitely adds on to that. Uh, but as they arrive to school, we have them, instead of doing their traditional stuff, they're mostly focusing on cooking which isn't bad you know it, it sucks because as i'm doing this review i'm, I'm actually quite hungry but uh, the food that they're trying to do isn't the normal thing they're trying to use uh, spells to try to create these dishes and we do have uh porta actually being the first to successfully do it uh unfortunately uh wise and you know, masato do not have very much luck uh, Medi looks like she succeeded, but unfortunately her food tastes horrible from what we saw in Masato's reaction. And not only that, but we also get to see that Medi Mama once again intervenes with the cooking, or her cooking specifically, and making it look good. Uh, but of course Mama Mamako actually decides to join in on the fun. She wants to cook herself, and she does help out uh, with her two uh, a mother's breath if that makes sense uh actually allows them to work better together and their food actually well, the food that they make actually is better and they do get i guess more extra points because of this skill and it was enjoyable to see them uh we also get to see shiraz and shirazi uh shiraz say excuse me in this episode making her appearance for a little bit helping out giving a giving everyone a moment here where they're all uh goes i guess a little fan service here between these two women which was funny to hear her's like you know it's, it's like me i'm doing this for masato it's like i'm hugging her on his behalf and i'm a mother and i have a daughter of my own which was kind of funny to see but and then we transition over to their swimming class but it's not just your typical swimming class we actually have them you know, trying to defeat monsters in the water which puts Masato in a very big disadvantage because his range of attacks is mostly with monsters in the air instead of it being in the water or land so but he's also quite disappointed because he's not sure about how much longer he's going to be able to withstand being around his mom because he's worried about what outfit she'll wear. But we do get to see uh, uh, Medi Mama coming out with a very attractive uh, swimsuit. But of course everyone has their eye on Mama Mamako and her basic school swimsuit. Uh, which honestly is like okay. Uh, but uh, this attracts again the attention of them. Uh, and we do see... Uh, Medi and uh, Masato going at it, destroying monsters. We finally see Masato, instead of using excuses of not being able to defeat these monsters, to actually, you know, putting that aside and trying to do the best that he can. And he does succeed. We get to see him actually being able to destroy it, uh, several monsters. Uh, not as many as Medi, because she actually has a higher count. And with the items 
that Ma well, Masato was able to get. We do get to see Porter actually make a, takiya a, a takiyaki party, which was kind of funny. It was kind of like a sideline thing going on. But we do have Medi going up against uh, Masato and trying to defeat this uh, sweat, like this uh, uh, sea an anemone. Uh, uh, anemone. Goodness, I almost sound like uh, Nemo there. Uh, but <laughs> we do see them trying to defeat this monster. But instead, it decides to go after Mamako and, of course, more fan service there, uh, which to me was a bit unnecessary. But we do get to see Masato actually defeating it. Of course, Mamako cuts off the tentacles and he gets the win. And we get to see um, them getting all, I guess, uh, all the attention from his mom while Medi gets pretty much blessed out and... We get to see her true dark side once Mamako and Masato actually try to follow her. So, I do wonder what's going to happen from here on now. You know, what are they going to say now that they've seen it themselves? What will be the reaction? But guys, that is it for me. Hope you guys have enjoyed. If you guys have, leave a like, comment down below your thoughts. And as always, stay safe, take care of yourselves and others, and I'll catch you later.